burnout and its devastating effect on goals and dreams. If you have ever worked unhealthily hard towards a certain goal, at some point or another you experience something called burnout. A feeling of not wanting to do anything that you are usually enthusiastic about. A sudden nauseating feeling towards your goals that you wanted to spend every waking hour working towards. It feels even worse when you realize that you are very far from the goal you are pursuing and it seems it is impossible to get there. From my experiences with burnout, the faster you recover, the better for you. Some people don't handle burnout very well. Especially when it is accompanied by frustration. You are trying to build a business, and it is simply not moving. After putting an unhealthy number of hours daily for a few weeks, you get to a point you don't even want to get out of bed. You are not sure anymore why you are pursuing that goal. You cannot remember why you started the business in the first place. If you ever feel this way at some point or another, remember that it also happens to a lot of people. If that will bring you any comfort. Many things can lead to burnout. Quite frankly, I don't know all the reasons and even if I did, it would be impossible to cover it all in one video. But, one reason that stands out for me, is an unhealthy work ethic. In Silicon Valley, people are respected and admired when they have built a reputation of grinding beyond everyone else. You hear the story of such people and you want to grind like they do. They tell you that they sleep by 2 am every day. What they don't tell you is that they take siesta in the afternoon. Then you head off to overwork yourself all day and still sleep very late. Yet, you want to wake up as early as possible. Your destination at best, is a devastating burnout. I think one of the biggest flaws in the stories of some successful people is that emphasis isn't put on the fact that most of them still get a healthy amount of sleep and have time for other things like family or friends. Plus, we neglect the fact that it took them years to get there. You start a drop shipping store, and three months down the line, you haven't made any profit and you get frustrated. You work unhealthily towards your business and then burnout occurs. What you don't realize is that sometimes, it takes years to build a good business. Take Jeff Bezos for example. Currently the richest man in the world, he worked on Amazon on his own for years. Never giving up. In my opinion, he didn't burn out because he went about it the right way. What about Elon Musk? He worked on his first company, Zip2 Corporation for about 4 years with his brother before he eventually sold it for about $305 million. About 7.2% of that going directly into his personal account. After reading Elon Musk's story, I decided that I would work on any business I put my hands into for at least 4 years before I consider quitting. But this isn't always the best strategy. Sometimes you need to know when to throw in the towel. And that could be as early as one week into a business. Graham Stephan for instance, quit his job at a sales company after about 2 months and got into real estate and YouTubing. He became a millionaire at age 26. Telling his story is me deviating a little. But I just wanted to emphasize that knowing when to give up on a certain venture, business or job is independent of how much time you have put in already. Elon Musk is an interesting personality. At least in my humble opinion. He works every waking hour. According to him, he positioned his desk at the center of the factory at Tesla and SpaceX his two major companies. So that all his workers can see that he is working as much as they are. He also leaves the office last. This is what most people know about Elon. What they don't know is that he still gets at least 6 hours of sleep daily. After college when I entered the business world and decided to push myself to the limit, I decided to drop my sleep hours to 5 daily, just so that I could get the most out of my day. Long story cut short, I didn't succeed. What I didn't realize, is that it is not about how many hours you sleep. It is more about what you do with your waking hours. Also, mindless grinding is as unhelpful as insufficient sleep. You have to grind on the right thing. And you have to be at your best, else, you probably won't hit your target anyway. With all that being said, what can you do to avoid burnout? Well, for starters, always remember. Life is a marathon and not a sprint. Consistent daily action towards your goals is what eventually leads to long-term success. Whatever work ethic you are attempting now, if you cannot sustain it on a daily basis, then it is unhealthy. Jeff Bezos for instance, sleeps 8 hours daily, has breakfast with his family, finds time to do the dishes and still spends time with his family. If the richest man in the world can find time to do all these, then it means, excessive grind is not the key. 
There are a whole bunch of other factors that influence potentials for success, but we will leave that for another video. The point I am making is, don't beat yourself up if you sleep 8 hours daily. Don't beat yourself up if you don't hit 100 work hours per week. This will only lead to frustration and eventually, burnout. And remember, big businesses take time. Instead of focusing on how many hours you sleep, focus on your daily productivity levels. Consistency is key. So, how can you manage or prevent burnout? There are a lot of ways to go about this one. But let me start here. Your goal should be very clear in your mind. So clear, that when you close your eyes, you can very easily visualize that reality. This is an anti-burnout drug if I may put it that way. And here is why. During burnout, you begin to question yourself whether your business is worth the effort in the first place. You begin to forget your goal and purpose. But if you have a high level of mental clarity. That is, you know exactly what you want to achieve and you know why, it helps reduce the effect of burnout on you. With clarity, even when you experience burnout, you can more easily write it off as just tiredness which would eventually pass. But without mental clarity, some people burn out, break down, and spend days re-evaluating their decision to start the business in the first place. I am not saying that re-evaluation is bad. In fact, it is necessary for success. Elon Musk once said and I quote, I think it is very important to have a feedback loop where you are constantly thinking about what you have done and how you can be doing it better. What I am trying to say is, evaluation is important, but evaluating during a burnout is counterproductive. When evaluating during a burnout, you are biased towards a decision to quit. You won't be in the best frame of mind to choose the best decision to take. From my study of most millionaires and billionaires, they have very high levels of mental clarity. They know exactly what they want to achieve. And this is a huge anti-burnout medication. Unfortunately, it is harder to build it during a burnout. You ought to have had it already, prior to a burnout episode. I must add that some people don't even recover from burnouts at all. They spend a few days recuperating. Then they spend another week questioning why they started the business in the first place. And even if they go back to the business, their fire is gone. They aren't the same people anymore. The passion for the business just is not there anymore. They feel broken and defeated and it may take a while for that spark to ever come back. Billionaires like Oprah Winfrey, use meditation to build mental clarity and stamina. These people never let their spirits to be broken by failure, stress or burnout. Elon, clearly one of my favorites, once said. For me to give up, I have to be dead or completely incapacitated. That is some level of mental stamina. Even burnout cannot bring him down because his mind is very strong. Before you dive into any venture, spend time questioning yourself whether that is what you really want to do. And if it is, spend time doing your research and finding the best strategy to get to the top while also keeping in mind that it could take a while to get to the top. This mindset could come in handy when you fall prey to stress and burnout. Something else you can do, is to add exercise to your daily routine and eat healthily. The health benefits of exercise are enormous. And according to research done by Brendan Burchard, a world-leading high-performance coach and New York Times best-selling author. High performers, which include billionaires, millionaires, Fortune 50 CEOs, and even athletes, are more likely to hit the gym at least five times every week. Exercise improves mood. It is an antidepressant medication if you like to call it that. Improved mood means you are less likely to feel sad or defeated by failure. In combination with high levels of mental clarity and stamina, along with a healthy diet, and most importantly, sufficient amount of sleep, you are sure that you are a burnout-proof grinding machine. Always remember. The number of hours you spend on sleep daily isn't as important as what you do with your waking hours. I do not wish burnout upon anyone. And if it ever happens to you, always remember that it is perfectly normal and that big dreams take time. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if this is your first time watching any of my videos. And I will see you in the next episode. As always, stay energized.